From UFOs to ghosts and psychic powers, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now and learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. When the Greek philosopher Pythagoras said all is number, he wasn't kidding. He worked extensively with numbers and is credited with innovations from the Pythagorean theorem to the discovery of the first irrational number. However, like many of history's early philosophers and scientists, Pythagoras also pursued more esoteric goals. He didn't just believe that numbers could describe the physical world. He thought each number had mystical properties. For this reason, he is generally credited with being the first numerologist. Pythagoras and his followers assigned special significance and even gender to the numbers 1 through 9. Over time, a multitude of numerological systems evolved. To the scientific community, numerology is somewhere between pseudoscience and utter mysticism. While it might be fascinating, it doesn't have a place in the real world. Or does it? Here's where it gets crazy. People across the world assign special significance to numbers. Numerology also plays a big role in conspiracy theories. For example, some 9-11 theorists believe there is a mystical significance to the date of the attack. For numerically centered conspiracy theories, the argument generally goes like this. The world's rulers, whether they be Illuminati, Freemasons, or something else, understand and prize the mystical significance of certain numbers. With this premise, theorists use numerology to produce a meaning from the time and date of disasters, from Pearl Harbor to the Kennedy assassination and more. This is just scratching the surface. Through the practice of gematria, or attempting to tell the future by turning words into numbers, ancient cultures and modern individuals have hoped to glean divine insight. Numerologists use geometric systems to assign values or traits to people based on their names or birth dates. Often nefarious characters such as Adolf Hitler or Saddam Hussein are accused of having the number of the beast, 666. Different systems produce different results, and not all numerologists agree. But numerology isn't just the concern of conspiracy theorists and mystics. World leaders in Myanmar and the US have used astrologers and numerology, and you may also practice numerology in the form of superstition. Western cultures, for example, believe the number 13 is unlucky, and this belief is so ingrained that even today the number 13 is missing from elevators. To skeptics, belief in numerology is no different from superstition, and perhaps more dangerous than other methods of divination because the use of numbers may make it seem more authoritative. Yet its supporters, such as Uri Geller, argue that numerology genuinely allows them to have a deeper understanding of world events. Theorists who use numerology to support their beliefs often argue that accident alone cannot explain all the coincidences involved, especially the preponderance of certain magical numbers, such as 9 or 11. Skeptics believe this is an example of confirmation bias, that the people who claim numerology is accurate have purposefully looked for evidence confirming their beliefs while ignoring any evidence to the contrary. And it's true that there is no scientifically accepted basis for numerology. Additionally, it is highly implausible that the same system could work across different calendars and languages. Yet numerology's adherents believe the sheer amount of synchronous events prove there is some sort of unknown relationship between numbers and the physical world. Is numerology a load of bunk designed to beguile and fascinate the credulous? Or is it a sign of something else? Something they don't want you to know.